My name is Alex, and I'm Tom. We've created an aquarium with controllers. With this controller, what it does is you attach all the different accessories to your aquarium, and through the use of our controller, you're able to access a website through a smartphone, computer, laptop, and see real-time data, as well as send information like Feed Fish Now to your aquarium. Essentially, this is eliminating the need to constantly be on top of your aquarium. So, so you want to go away for a weekend, you can go away for the weekend and not have to worry about someone having to come and feed your fish, or having the water level drops too low, the pH goes crazy, anything like that. And, uh, we just connected it with a uh, C and C++ plus interface on the controlling grid, which connects to the interface for the web user. There is a data server that's running on a laptop right now for uh, on a remote server that connects to the, uh, the CD MySQL database and there it puts all the information into uh, the user client control panel so you can see you have a little accessory for each one of your accessories. You can see the gauge current information as well as a history up to 30 days. So it's very useful and convenient to use interface. is the water level sensor. What it does is it uses two parallel plates to uh, measure a capacitance across um, the two plates. So the relative permittivity of air is approximately one. The relative permittivity of water is approximately eight. As the water level rises, capacitance will change due to the difference of the material between the plates. With this, we can measure approximately what water level the value, or what value the water level is between empty and full on here. We figured this was a good size because look, any lower than this, it's bad, but we didn't want to test all the way to the bottom because you shouldn't let your aquarium run empty. <laughs> Next we have temperature, which is done using two thermistors in a waterproof box. Really all it is is two heat sinks attached to the thermistor that read data into the PIC microcontroller that reads that back to the uh, controller. Here we have a chemical sensor. What this is, we have store-bought pH and ammonia strips that are continuous tests that last three months. It slides into the little uh, housing for, that has a window in front of it. And with that window, we have an LED that can shine red, green, and blue, and a photo detector. This, using this, we can approximate the color of the test strip that's uh, shown here. And with that color reading, we can determine what the pH or ammonia levels are based on the color. I guess uh, just a plug for it, uh, if you want to check it out for more information, you can go online to www.boltaquarium.com.